everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Episode 9 and Kazooie's pestering the crap out of Banjo. Alrighty, last time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we uh, decided to start going through Freeze Easy Peak and got quite a few jiggies left or in it. So in this part, we're gonna finish up some of the ground ones and then go do the lovely transformation that's here. Uh, for now, I'm gonna kind of pick up some of the stuff around here real quick. And then we're going to go into the tree and pick up that stuff. I uh, don't have to go that way. I'm going to want to jump this way. Oh, there's a mumbo token there. I know it's there. All right. 30 mumbo tokens. Well, we're halfway to needing all the mumbo tokens we need, which is a good thing. Nice to almost be done collecting those. Doesn't mean I'll stop. I mean, they're there. Hey, there's another one. So that, I hate that, G. You're going to probably see me go for it this episode, and I... Not a fan of that Jiggy. That Jiggy is one of the, is the is the toughest in Grunty's lair. Uh, it actually requires a bit of skill and a bit of I say luck, but hopefully I can do it after much trial and error. Another Mumbo token to climb into the tree. All right, so there's an there's a present there that we need to get, and again the termites return, um, which I guess makes sense because we're in a tree. All right, let's get here. Let's get all our lovely. Notes. There we go. I think there's how many are there? Twelve? Twelve. Alright. Already halfway through the notes. Red feathers, which I clearly need a lot of. Because we're running low on those things. Alrighty, there. There's a lovely 20. That'll help. And then we'll get a lot more when we go up the scarf. I don't really care about the eggs too much. Oh, come! I do that all the time. I just jump over it. Like a dummy! Uh, climb, 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 climb. Let go, Banjo, go. No, I've never seen a bear climb. Not in my life. There we go! Jiggy number three. Alright, so... So with that... Now we're gonna go down here. And... Oh, there's a gold feather there. I kind of want that, so we're going to take the damage and get out of the water. Not that I can see. All right. Get back on Kazooie. Run, 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 run. So, we're going to go this way now, and we're actually going to go to this side so we can actually get... Actually, no, wait. I want to go up the snowman next. That's the next thing I want to do. Sorry. Uh, is there notes on the rest of these? I know there's an empty honeycomb piece there, and a flight pad, and a Jinjo over there, so we'll quickly get all this stuff. Alright, that's the last of the empty honeycomb pieces. No. I think I missed I didn't ever got that in Gobi's Valley, now that I think about it. I, I missed one. Oh, no. The one that, that requires flying. We'll have to go back and get that. Which is fine. I got that guy. All right, we'll get him. We'll get it next time. The other honeycomb piece is uh, in the walruses area. So, all right. So now we're gonna go this place or jump this way so we can get this present. There's just two out of two out of three presents. Oh boy, this guy. I don't need to go down and get the stuff from there. So now we're gonna slowly walk our way up here. Alright, and then get, make sure we get all the feathers, because, you know, I need those. Alright. All that sound effects. Them lovely sound effects. Oh, no, I missed one. Oh, come back here. Alright, then. Alright, notes. I mean, the lovely notes. And now we're going to avoid the sled here, because there's some stuff to get first. On the edges here, okay. Alright. Alright, there we go. There's one there, and then and there is one in the walruses. Oh, no, 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 no! That's evil. Evil. No! Evil, I swear. Mr. Snowman. Jerk. Ugh. I always fall off someplace on this snowman. Alrighty then. Alright, so avoid the slide for now. That's gonna be our way down. 
we're going to want to jump up here. Now, there's a present up there, which we'll have to get in a short bit here. But first, we want to walk across. Get the lovely Jiggy. That's Jiggy number four. And we're going to quickly get number five here with that sled. But something we're going to want to do here is kind of spring jump ourselves up here because to get this present. And I think another Mumbo token is at the end of his nose again. Not the flight pad, which we really don't need to do. Oh, I kind of wanted those gold feathers. Oh, well. All right, sled time. Sled time. Sled time. Oh, my God, sled time. <laughs> Whee! Free Mumbo token and... Ugh. Make him puke up his lovely Jiggy so he feels better. Because I don't know why he decided to eat a shiny jigsaw piece, but oh well. So now he wants to go sledding. Which now requires you to become the lovely walrus. And it allows us to get another jiggy too at the same time, as long as getting the honeycomb piece. So, now we're going to want to become the walrus. Jump this way. Now, I don't know where the shoes are for this. I've never been able to really find them. I can't ever remember where they are. So, I kind of just jump, commit to the jumping, and then quickly get across. <laughs> I've always found that to be the easiest way through. So, jump through here. Alright, and I know there's notes up here on this one, along with a Jinjo, which is nice. That skips two of these for some reason. But that'll be all of them there. So let's stand in here. We sell 18. So we almost have enough already for Mad Monster Mansion. It's a transformation, which is nice. Banjo going all fat, which I don't get because he was fat to start with. But oh well. And so those boots will be useful later. Let's go this way. There's some lovely notes over here that we can pick up. Alrighty then. We got these notes, these notes. Alrighty then. Nine, ninety, ninety-one, and two. Alright. So now I'm actually gonna go and do the sled race first because it's gonna then take us right by the walrus, which will be useful for later. So let's jump this way. Oh, I've already got almost all my red feathers back. That's good. Got those replenished. So we're gonna get all these notes here. Now I know there's some over by the walrus, which should probably bring us to notes 100, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. So this race again has more rubber banding in it, and I think this is the last kind of rubber banding mini game in this, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is pretty easy though compared to Mr. Vile. So the the concept always hold forward; it makes you go faster. And then two, um, just make sure you go through the slalom flags. Um, I kind of like this mini game because I, I I feel it's a nod to their NES game slalom because it uses the same style flags that are in it, which is kind of cool. Uh, also, when you're up on hills, jump. It does speed you up. Uh, he usually catches up to me here, but you know what? We're being champs right now. Uh, he will pass me up here. He, for some reason, gets a burst of speed when you go down this upcoming house here. So right here is usually when I see the pass by go. And again, make sure you go through the flags. That's more important because there is a section here where you can pass him pretty easily because he goes pretty slow here. You'll hear him go, oh! And you kind of can jump up here, this, and then jump up this hill, and you win. Like I said, if you just stay consistent in this race, it's much easier than trying to outmaneuver them and try to real race them. So, he says he's gonna have to try someone on his own side. So there's actually a second race to do, and that's when you get the speedy shoes, and that's where it matters to get the speedy shoes before coming here. Um, so they kind of are intertwined. You have to go to one or the other beforehand. So, But now, since we're here, we can visit Mr. Walrus, and he'll give us the jiggy he's holding. All right, he says he's a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner here. 
So we'll get another one. That's number seven. And these will be notes. Number 100 here. Get another extra guy. And then we're going to quickly go into the walrus's cave because that's where the last empty honeycomb piece is. So then we'll do this. And there's also, we have to come back in here later because there's a lovely Jinjo in here. Alright, jump. Go through here. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Hey, there we go. So now we're one shy. We would have gotten six if I didn't goof. We're going to have to get that one going back into Gobi's Valley. Um, so. Alrighty then. So that actually is everything that we need the walrus transformation for. So the last thing that I'm going to do is now go turn into Banjo. Uh, we have the presents to give, get the Jinjo, and then beat Boggy one more time. And that's it for this level. Uh, Freeze Easy Peak, pretty simple if you kind of have a pattern going into it. Hardest ones are kind of the first few jiggies I went for. Uh, and then it kind of just is, is smooth sailing from then on. So, what we're going to want to do now, um, I'm now going to head back using the fat ass walrus. Who's slow. It's funny, all of Banjo's transformations, I think it's all the same speed as Banjo walking, anyways. But he's still really slow. Um, so, alrighty then. So, let's go back in here. Switch me back, please. Switch me back. Alrighty then. Woohoo, Bandro! Alrighty. So, now we have to leave. Now, quickly grab these boots. And they, they have a really short timer, so just kind of get over as fast as possible. And you'll get it all. And so, again, we're going to go take on the walrus, or the boggy first because it makes more sense. Um, so we'll take on Boggy first, and then he'll drop us off by the walrus. We'll pick our stuff up there, and then we'll head out to the exit of the level, or we'll go in that igloo that I said last episode that we go into at the end of the level. So, All right, let's fancy him a race for his chicken legs. I was going to put you back in here, so kind of be prepped to um, go into the talent trot right away. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Go. Make sure you get the shoes, but again, as I said, this is very much um, rubber banding, so you could easily catch up to him if you goof like I just did now. Just want to beat him. I said jumping on hills, big boost. The thing is, you're actually, I don't know if he's supposed to be faster here, but it feels about the same. Um, I personally think the speed shoes make this very easy. Again here, focus on getting through the flags because again, you'll pass them at the exact same moment as last time, which is right here. What I do is jump over him, and then just make sure you jump up the hills. Like this, hit this, jump up the hill. There you go. Oh, and he lost again. And finally, it's like, oh, I should go check on my kids, which is kind of funny. What a terrible parent. All right, so let's get Jiggy number eight. Or nine, eight, eight, eight. Jiggy number eight. All right, and then we'll quickly go into Waza's cave here. Waza the walrus. Hi, Waza. I know you love smelly bears, so I decided to bring you one. And we're going to take this thing out that you don't like. And ooh. All right, and there's G number nine, and we see this lovely ice key that's in the background there, which always mystified me when I was younger, but that's more important for later. Bye, Waza. Bye, Waza. All right, then. All right, now we'll go get the last Jiggy in the level, which is, again, back at the beginning of the level, and that should wrap things up. Actually, we have a few minutes, so I'm actually going to attempt to try and get the last, or get the Jiggy on the outside of the level, uh, as we have a little bit of time left. And there hasn't been enough fail in this uh, video anyways, I gotta add, add a little bit more anyways, my own flavored touch. Alright, quickly into the igloo. Oh, and they're all so sad, because Boggy is a terrible parent. 
So let's all make them happy. Well, he's like, oh, that race made me tired. Will you look for my kid's presents? And he goes to sleep. And now they're all happy. Yay! And then they give us a present. It's a jiggy. So, there we go. And there we go. Jiggy number 10. And that should be 100% of Freeze Easy Peak. So then we'll leave. We'll check out the stats here. Let's just double check real quick. Okay, totals. 100, 100, 100 in 25 minutes. We actually did that in a relatively decent amount of time, actually. Which is good. So, alright, now to finish up this, what we're going to want to do here. Jump. Oh, we're going to jump over here. And now there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get here. Uh, some mumbo, uh, mumbo token is up here, if you go here. And jump up here. Get the lovely mumbo token. And in order to get... Alright, so now is when it gets difficult. So what you're going to end up having to do is hit this pad. Have just enough time to hit this lovely... Oh man, wow, it didn't even trigger. That's my luck. Well, there's a good fail. <laughs> uh, I'll have just enough time to get back up here in time. Good game. Alright, so that pad shatters. No, sadly, you have to hit this every time, so let's do a better, time. Let's do a better job this time. And shows it every time. Oh, I wasted too much time. No way am I making it. No! It's always the animation of losing the shoes. That's what screws you over. Every time. Uh. I need to see here. Like, how do I get the camera to... Uh. So I flip the camera wrong every time I think it's supposed to be a certain way. Alright, let's try it again. Hopefully I can get it this time. Oh crap, that's going to put me at a disadvantage. Okay, kind of jump again, as I said. It really helps because you get this skid. Oh, I got it! I got it! Two tries, I'll take it! Alright, then right away you want to come, come up to this tunnel. Another thing, make sure you don't land in this tunnel. Uh, there's no way to... Uh, no way to get the jiggy then. Um, so just kind of stay fluttering up. And then fly up high. And then... You can land right here and get this lovely jiggy. It's jiggy number 7 instead of Grunty's Lair. And that is uh, actually jiggy number 66, I think, for us. So, Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all of the good stuff. Uh, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to go and get ready for Mad Monster. I think that's actually the next place we'll be going. So, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.